Welcome uh, to my Twitch and YouTube viewers. Right, I want to do a. I'm now going to create a new set, a new series. I'm still going to do the tutorials, but I want to create a new series because as I'm, as my videos are on both Twitch and YouTube, and Twitch is a platform for gamers. I want to start having some, well, giving you, some, giving you some lower values of me trying to play games uh, badly. Because um, I put my hand up, I'm not a good games player. Mm -mm. I, I'm the sort of person, if I was playing a, a Command and Conquer game, I'd probably be the one that would die in the most. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> right, so, but what I'll do is, and I'm not, obviously, again, I'll don't, I'm going to say now, my system I'm using isn't powerful enough to be able to play the modern games. So, if you come in here, think I'm going to be playing the games of um, I don't know, Forest or uh, Raft or um, say Bus uh, American Truck Simulator, European Truck Simulator, um, Bus Simulator, and games of that of that sort of style that requires a much beefier system. Then sadly, uh, you're not going to see them here. Most of the games I will be playing on here will be the will be mostly the retro games, so I remember the games that I remember playing when I was young. Obviously, the, the classic first console of me and my sister had was the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. So I will dig up some games that I remember playing avidly on the that console, and just for low values because I haven't played them for now over twenty years, twenty twenty five years, I'd probably be a bit naff. So we'll have some lol values there and me constantly dying, okay? I'll also dig up some games and this episode is going to start with the very first computer I had which was the Amstrad CPC. So we'll dig up a couple of games that's going to be in this episode and I'm going to have lol values playing those. Okay, also I want to play in other consoles. I have ideas of playing games on the Commodore 64, maybe even the Spectrum maybe the BBC Model B and especially the BBC Model B because I remember playing that in schools that computer in schools and there's a few games on that including one that was a quite hilarious game for its time which was Frack so I might even dig up and we'll have I'll have a lol value trying to play Frack again um, then there are other, other consoles maybe the MSX computer the MSX computer maybe the, the consoles the ColecoVision Intellivision Vectrex things like that, just all the retros, maybe even some retro arcade games. Basically, if you love retro and you love gaming, well this is going to provide the lol values of me trying to frantically play them. So without me carry on waffling on, let's get this, let's get this fun started. On this episode of Network 17 Playing Games, Ed, aka Sonic 7600, will be playing two games from the Amstrad CPC computer. Chucky Egg and Oh Mummy. And now here is your host Ed. Hi, now as we can see on this screen, our very first game is going to be Chucky Egg. I remember playing this on the BBC Model B and that got, got into that game. And then when, it, when I found it came on the Amstrad, I was the first one to pick up this game. So let's have some fun of me playing Chucky Egg. A bit of Chucky Egg, your background Chucky for those who don't know, as you can see here, you're you're a hen house Harry, you've got a guiding round collecting the eggs. And at the same token you've got chickens that try to walk around and you have got to avoid them and uh, there's a it's a timer. So as as a boat as a timer's going down, boat is going down, but you can stop the timer by clicking by taking the bird seed. If you eat take the bird seed your time freezes, gives you a little bit more time to get around. And as it progresses, it gets harder, where it will then have, um, for example, you have holes that you can fall down and die. So we slowly waffle on, and sit back and enjoy.
for those who are not just going to know, the, as you can probably gather, the, the eggs are white and the bird seed is coloured red. I think on the BBC there was a different colour, I'm not 100% sure. I'm probably doing like the BBC version as well to compare that. But as you know, as, as you saw, that as you, as you go over the bird seed, it actually froze time. But I'll just I'll sit back and let you enjoy the game and the music that's in here as well. Okay? The only thing I think is, if I remember rightly, the green on this is darker than the green that was actually in on the BBC version. I think the BBC version was a lot more lighter green for the actual platform.
Damn it, and he cost me about three, four lives. Fingers crossed we don't get a copyright strike because a game without music is just bad. If we have silence then it would be good but I'm just hoping I don't get a copyright strike on this. So let's have some fun playing some classic and soft mummy that I remember playing and the app when I got my answer CPC 464 because it came in a, in a 12 game tape pack. Let's have some fun. Set the set it settings. Yeah, I'll put the background music on. Though I just hope I don't get a strike and, and copyright strike. <clears throat> okay, let's have some fun. For those who haven't played this game before, basically this game is you're an archaeologist come working for the uh, British uh, Museum. Um, your idea is you're going through collecting relics from Egyptian tombs and you have those mummies walking around that um, are guardians of the tombs. Your thing is to collect all the treasure and get out before they get, uh, before, uh, before without losing any life. Um, but there are one of these hiddens actually hide another mummy. As you can see, I've just launched one now. And when that happens, uh, you, um, you have another mummy walking around. But once you get the, the sarcophagus and the key, you can exit the level. Okay? That's just a bit of info in case you're unsure of this, but I'm going to have some I'll let you enjoy the music and I'll play the game, okay? Oh no! I just lost another mummy! And they have three after me! Oh, horse, my 
he lost his life gallantly. Okay, Bob, off you go. Just released another one. I've now got four after me. because he hasn't found the key! Okay, Kevin, you, you're off next. Oh yeah, if you pick up the uh, scroll, you get protected for one hit, so Kevin was able to survive that. We've done it! Congratulations! And we start all over again.
Oh no, just release another mummy!
get out. Ah, we've got the scroll, so now, now John's protected from one hit from a mummy. But now he has seven mummies after him. Oh, this isn't looking good for dear John. Run away! Ah, oh, well, he has to use his scroll wisely and saved himself. We've done it again. British Museum is very grateful for our finds. But it sends back out again. Now we're only down to two men. John here and Billy, who's next one. Of course, I'm being the leader. Of course, I'm not going on this trip. I just send my men to do it for me. Oh, well, he 
use this scroll wisely. Billy committed suicide. Then game over. Okay, um... Well, this brings us to the end of this um, gaming session. I hope that you enjoyed them. I did my me in my commentary over it. Um, okay, if you want to see more videos, just let us know what sort of games you want me to like me to play and what console you want me to do next. And uh, this comes the end of this. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you the details of what the game was. But that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this gaming. Uh, me frantically running around and. I see, I'm not a brilliant gamer, I'm, uh, so we're going to have some lols, especially games I've not played before, so I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.